zebrafish. They're freshwater tropical fish, and they're much more than just a nice addition to your aquarium. I'm Natish Bassano inside St. Mike's Hospital, where two researchers have found that these zebrafish could be the black and white answer to fighting the flu. Right now, there's only one flu drug that's available, one class of flu drugs, and there's already resistance to it, so we need new ones. We need to detect new influenza drugs as soon as possible. So what we've devised is a way of using zebrafish as a means of screening for new drugs against influenza. Doctors Warren Lee and Xiao Yan Wen at St. Michael's Hospital came up with the idea of conducting tests with zebrafish and pitched it on Angel's Den, a spin-off of Dragon's Den where healthcare innovators compete to win funding for life-changing projects. He says these tiny organisms are ideal for finding a new vaccine because of the way they react to the virus. The zebrafish, these tiny little fish here, I don't know if you can see them, are great for that because they're inexpensive, they can be, they grow rapidly, they can be bred in large numbers, and we've discovered that the human flu virus infects these fish and they become swollen and die within about three or four days. We can then rapidly test thousands of drugs to see if they protect the fish. The flu kills hundreds of thousands of people a year worldwide. Back in 1918, 50 million people died. That's more than the number of people who died during the First World War. More recently, 2009's swine flu outbreak killed as many as 575,000 people. Health Canada says this year's flu season is off to a rough start with more people than usual being sick. So far, at least 270 Canadians have ended up in the hospital because of the flu, and seven people have died. Dr. Lee says that we are due for the next big outbreak, and zebrafish could save us time and money in the race to save lives. The experiments are done in these plates, and these plates have 96 compartments. And so in each compartment, we would have tiny little fish, we would have influenza, and we'd have drug candidates which means we can basically do 96 experiments all at the same time. And we can rapidly screen thousands of compounds right. to see if they protect the fish. Dr. Lee and Dr. Wen say they will continue screening thousands of compounds until they identify three to five promising hits. From there, they'll study their characteristics, see if they're actually effective. And if they are, that's when they'll start clinical trials on people. From St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto, I'm Natish Bassono, City News.